Hello. In this short video, I wanted to talk about the allow non-admin access to settings feature that is available to uh, users of Chocolate GUI when they have the Chocolate GUI license extension installed. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So at the minute, I'm logged into this machine as an administrator. And if I go up to settings, uh, I can see that the allow non-admin access to settings feature is disabled. So by default, for all users on the machine, uh, by uh, out of the box, when you install Chocolate GUI and the Chocolate GUI license extension, uh, the non-administrators out of the box don't have access to settings. So what I mean by that is, if I close out of here and I go and sign into this machine as a non-administrator, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in here as this user. Then if I attempt to run Chocolatey GUI, so let's go ahead and find Chocolatey GUI. So the application will run, but by default, I won't have access to that setting screen. So I can see the about page up at the top right hand corner here, but I can't see the settings screen. Now that's also enforced at the command line. So there is a Chocolatey GUI CLI command that um, users can um, use to change settings. But because of that allow non-admin access to settings being disabled, I can't, as a non-administrator user, I can't use that feature either. So if, as an organization, uh, you want your users to be able to control the settings for Chocolate GUI, what you would need to do is you would need to enable that setting. Now, I've uh, illustrated this point across a couple of videos, but I'm going to illustrate it here as well. If I run Chocolatey GUI and I change the setting here that is allow non-admin access to settings, then this setting change is only for the currently logged in user. So that's not going to help my non-administrator user because this would just be toggling that feature on for me and I'm already an administrator. So it, it doesn't help me. Okay, so toggling this here isn't the right place to do it. Instead, if we go back to the command line and we run chocolatey GUI CLI feature enable, and the name is going to be allow non admin access to settings. And if I add an additional option, which is global, then that's going to set that feature to be enabled for all users on the machine. Okay, so at that point, if I go back and sign out as this user and go back in as that non-administrator user, put down here and then type the password. So now if I run Chocolatey GUI, now I will have access to that setting screen. So you'll see it up here. It wasn't there before, now it is. So again, to illustrate the point, these settings are now the settings for my user, the non-administrator user. So at this point, uh, I can override the default settings. So if, for example, uh, so the, by default, tile views are enabled. And you may have configured on your on your your set of machines that these are the features that you want enabled, or these are the, the settings that you want for your users. If you enable the setting to allow non-admin access to settings, then that user can change those things. And the effective settings are going to be the intersection between the global ones and the uh, user-specific settings. So for me, as this user, uh, I've changed it so tile view is no longer the default. So that's the, that's potentially what's opened up uh, as a result of changing that allow uh, non-admin access to settings. So that's something that you'll need to decide on as a company or an organization or a, a, a setup, whether you want to allow non-administrator users to change those settings. Hopefully that's been useful to you. Thank you very much for listening.